So his direction. I, I'm not quite sure what he means about that. So I I don't know. So we were talking about his direction, his past, sir. But we're actually talking, we're talking about two separate things now, because he's because the Lord was saying to talk about his direction and his paths. Yes. Right. Yes. So that would seem to imply that these are two different things. I'm not quite sure how those two things could be very different because a direction is following alongside a path. But well, okay. Uh, but so let's start with let's start with his path and see if we can't find his direction. Okay. Right. So you quoted. A scripture earlier that I'm going to ask you to requote. It was the one from Proverbs. I think it was 25 and 3, but I'm doing this off the top of my head. Right, but the one about um, it is the pleasure of God to hide a mystery. Yeah, in the glory of it is the glory of God to conceal things, but the glory of kings to search things out. Right. Now, I think two things about that. The first thing that I think of is that the path of God is discovering his glory, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Or, or discovering that which he has concealed. Yeah. I think that the direction of God then is once you've discovered it, right? Carrying it to where it needs to be. Hmm. But I think those are two different things. The first there is the finding, which may be in the opposite direction of where you need to go. Right? So I think about, for example, I'm going to pick on treasure or gold, right? You can go to a river. Well, you probably can't anymore. But in the old <laughs> days when in America, gold was so abundant that it lay in the bed of, of rivers, you could go to a river and pan for gold. And then when you found that gold, you could go to the bank or to a merchant and buy something of value. Right. Right. So the path of God was the path that led you to the river. The direction of God was the path that led you to buying a business or making an investment, hmm. right? But those are two different things. Right. So could you say maybe that the direction is the wind and the path is the road? Yeah. Yeah, I think you can say that. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think you can say that. The, the direction is the wind and the path is the road. Yes. And so, right, the path is maybe a, a, a little bit more practical, right? It's a road. It's hard. It's, it's made of something material. Right. It's manifest. It's, it's, and so it gets you to, ultimately, the spirit of God. It should create a, a sensitivity to you. It should bring enlightenment that allows you to follow, then, the wind of God or the breath of God. The, the book of Genesis, chapter 1, talks about the spirit of God hovering over the waters. Um, a different translation, a different reading. Uh, more in the spirit of the Hebrew text talks about really the wind of God or the breath of God moving over the face of the water. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. so the ultimate purpose is to find the breath of God. Yeah. But that, that, that requires finding some mysteries and really culling out the mystery of those mis- the meaning of those mysteries, I should say. Okay. Okay. So check this out. Go. First Kings 18.6. So they divided the land between them to pass through it. Ahab went in one direction by himself, and Obadiah went in another direction by himself. Yeah. So, going back to, if I can remember the story of this at the top of my head, let me check out this out a little bit. Go ahead and read the full context of it. After many days, the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go, show yourself to Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. So Elijah went to show himself to Ahab. Now the famine was severe in Samaria, and Ahab called Obadiah, who was over the household. Now Obadiah feared the Lord greatly, and when Jezebel uh, Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord, Obadiah took a hundred prophets and hid them by fifties in a cave and fed them with bread and water. And, Obadi- and Ahab said to Obadiah, Go through the land to all the springs of water and to all the valleys. Perhaps we may find grass and save the horses and mules alive and not lose some of the animals. So they divided the land between them to pass through it. Ahab went in one direction by himself and Obadiah went in another direction by himself. 
And as Obadiah was way beyond, behold, Elijah met him. And Obadiah recognized him and fell on his face and said, It is you, my lord, Elijah. And he answered him, and he answered him It is I. Go tell the, your lord, Behold, Elijah is here. And you said, How have I sinned that you would give your servant into the hand of Ahab to kill me? As the Lord your God lives, there is no nation or kingdom where my Lord has not sent to seek you. And when they should, would say, He is not here, he would take an oath of the kingdom or nation, and, they, and that they had fa not found you. And now you say, Go tell your Lord, Behold, Elijah is here. And as soon as I have gone from you, the Spirit of the Lord will carry you and know not where. And so, when I come to tell Ahab, he cannot find you, he will kill me, although I, your servant, have feared the Lord from my youth. So, we can go on with this whole thing. But, I, I think that goes back into directions again, though, right? Yes. The, the idea of where to go. Yes. Yes. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. It's, it's the idea where to go versus where to actually go. So... You see this whole th scenario kind of play out as, a, as an idea yes. that begins to manifest itself, you know, more and more and more. Yes. Based off of fear. Yeah. And I think it could be based off of love also. It could be, yeah. So yeah. It, it depends on which one you're responding to, but yes. Yeah, yeah. What I think is really interesting. So we talk about his direction. Aren't we talking about, you know, his direction, a loving direction? Because to go in a fearful direction, which is different between the fear of God, but we're going in a fearful direction, the perfect love casts out fear, then going in a fearful direction couldn't be of God. Yeah, so I quoted this earlier, I quote it again. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance, this is the King James translation, of the gift of God that is in thee by the putting on of my hands, for God has not given us the spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. but of power and of love and of sound mind. And so the direction of God is the direction of power, the direction of love, and the direction of sound mind. I love that one. Clear thinking. Yeah. But a direction of fear is, is something else. And it is something that is void of power, love, and a sound mind. Yeah. Right Now that is a little bit more difficult to isolate because it can take you in a number of directions. But what we know is that what will not be there is power, love, and a sound mind. Yeah, yeah. So we're seeing here, you know, the the conflict of Ahab and Obadiah. We're seeing the, 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 the conflict in terms of just how one's thinking versus how the other one's thinking. Yes. So what you notice when someone is being afraid about something, yes. they don't make any sense. That's right. Straight up and down. Like so when you're in a fear, you don't make any sense. Because yes. when you begin to repeat yourself to somebody and they just say, what? Just do this. Yes. And then you begin to, in a frustrated state, restate your claim as to why you can't. And none of it really holds water when you're saying it. You know that there's more to do. Yes. And then you just say, I don't know. Or you get frustrated and get mad at them or whatever it is, you know, because, again, you don't have a real reason why other than the fact that you're scared. Yes. So how could you go in God's direction if, you know... Exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. So, so that shows a lack of power, a lack of thinking, and a lack of having a sound mind because when you, it's devoid of all of those things. Yes. When you're in fear like that. Yeah. So, so, yeah. I think your story is great. So, Obadiah, right, using your text, was operating in power, love, and a sound mind. Mm -hmm. Right. Ahab was operating in fear. Yeah. Right. So, he, so they could not, by definition, go in the same direction. Yep. Yep, yep. Fascinating, huh? Um, and just to kind of briefly retouch back on, on paths.